Hello everyone, and welcome to Dynamics 365 Portals Tips from Engineered Code. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 15, Content Snippets versus Site Settings. Content snippets and site settings are similar concepts, and I often see people confused about when it's appropriate to use each one. Both content snippets and site settings are essentially key value pairs, where the name of the record is used as the key, and the purpose of the record is to store some value. The idea is to allow portals developers to define variables that an administrator can change without needing to know where to look in the code. In theory, a developer could use content snippets or site settings in most cases, and it would probably work. However, by mixing the two concepts together, I think it leads to unnecessary confusion. My rule of thumb is this. If a user sees it on the screen, it should be a content snippet. Otherwise, it should probably be a site setting. Content snippets are used throughout portals to allow administrators to customize the text on some of the built-in features like forums or ideas. The most common mistake I see is using a site setting when a content snippet should be used, especially in cases when it's just a word or two being displayed. The introduction of multilingual capabilities in version 8 adds a bit of a wrinkle to the situation. Content snippets are language aware, meaning that for each different language, you can define a content snippet with the same name. Each site setting, on the other hand, should only be defined once and applies to all languages. Knowing this, I could understand an argument being made that in cases where a setting needs to change depending on the language, that a content snippet could be used instead. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Dynamics 365 Portals tip number 15 from Engineered Code on content snippets versus site settings useful.